The objective is to add fractions with unlike units using the strategy of creating equivalent fractions. Let's add 1 half plus 1 fourth. Let's make like units by drawing. There's 1 half, and here is 1 fourth. You'll notice I'm drawing 1 fourth horizontally, and I drew 1 half vertically. When I find equivalent units, 1 half then, I now draw the three lines to be able to get to 8. And for 1 fourth, I'll draw the one line to be able to also get to 8. So that's 4 eighths and 2 eighths. 1, 2, 3, 4 out of 8, and 2 out of 8. So our 4 eighths plus 2 eighths equals 6 eighths, which I also write as 3 fourths. Let's do the same type of strategy for 1 third plus 1 half. First we draw 1 third, and then we draw 1 half. Remember, this time we're going horizontal. Make equivalent fractions. I made the equivalent fraction of 1 third times 2 times 2 to get to 2 6. And then for 1 half, I have 1 half times 3 and times 3 to get to 3 6 and 2 6 plus 3 6 is equal to 5 6. So 1 third plus 1 half is equal to 5 6. I made a common denominator first. I rewrote 1 third as 3 6 and 1 half as 3 6 and then added those together when I had a common denominator. Let's add 1 third plus 1 fourth. You try. Draw that out. Looks like we're getting a co common unit of twelfths. So we have one, two, three, four twelfths. Plus three twelfths, which equals seven twelfths. So we made an equivalent fraction for one third equaling four twelfths. Equivalent fraction for one fourth equaling three twelfths, and added those together to get seven twelfths. Here we have another problem two thirds and one fourth. There's two thirds and there's one fourth. Making equivalent fractions, let's see what we get. Those two thirds will equal 8 twelfths, and I'll write that out in a second. So 1 fourth equals 3 twelfths. Oops. And 8 twelfths and 3 twelfths equals 11 twelfths. What I had was 2 thirds multiplied by 4, multiplied by 4 to get 8 twelfths, 
and 1 fourth times 3 times 3 equaling 3 twelfths. Here we have 2 fifths plus 2 thirds. The numerators are the same, both being 2, but the denominators are different. We still work and find a common denominator to be able to solve this problem. Let's draw 2 fifths first. And then draw 2 thirds. Remember we're drawing horizontally. Remember the whole thing is 1. The whole thing of these unit area models is 1. Find a equivalent fraction for here. Looks like we're going to fifteenths. Six fifteenths. And we can label it. And in this case, labeling, we had two thirds going to fifteenths. We get ten fifteenths. So two fifths plus two thirds is the same as six fifteenths plus ten fifteenths, which is equal to sixteen fifteenths, which is more than one. Fifteen fifteenths plus one fifteenth, which equals one and one fifteenth. Here's one last one for you to try. 2 sevenths plus 2 thirds. Draw 2 sevenths first. And then draw 2 thirds. And then we make equivalent. We're going to 20 firsts. That is equal to...